2002, two teenage girls sued McDonald's because they had become obese and sick after eating the food there. Ashley Cullen was 14 years old, 4 foot 10, and already 170 pounds, while Jasmine Bradley was 18 years old, 5 foot 6, and a whopping 270 pounds. Their obesity led to heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol. Ashley ate Happy Meals three to four times a week, while Jaslyn enjoyed McMuffins for breakfast and Big Macs for dinner. This is just one example of the obesity epidemic that is taking over America today. And that information comes from Morgan Spurlock's book, Don't Eat This Book, Fast Food and the Supersizing of America. We need to take steps toward healthier eating, so we first must educate ourselves about the dangers of fast food and the skyrocketing obesity rates that America is faced with today. Fast food presents one of the greatest public, inter public interest threats to America today. The obesity epidemic in America is becoming a huge problem. One quarter of American adults eat out at fast food restaurants every day according to fast food's hidden dangers. The dangers of fast food says the average teenager is 20 to 40 pounds heavier than they were just 40 years ago. So if there's such a problem with obesity in the United States, why is nothing being done to stop it? Well first, fast food restaurants are everywhere. According to fast food's hidden dangers, 96% of school aged children recognize Ronald McDonald. This is second only to Santa Claus and more children recognize the McDonald's arch than recognize the Christian cross. There are 177,000 fast food restaurants in the United States. They are even in locations such as Walmart and hospitals designed specially for children. Well, with these restaurants everywhere, it's impossible to avoid them. From the time we are young children, we are programmed to recognize these establishments and the familiarity with them makes them appealing. Eating out used to be done only on special occasions and it was rare. Now it has become more of an everyday occurrence. Fast food restaurants make $124 billion each year, according to Fast Food Nation. This is more money than we spend on higher education, computers, and new cars. It is more money than we spend on movies, books, magazines, videos, newspapers, and music combined. Just think of all the things we could be buying if we weren't wasting our money on something that's eventually going to kill us. Not only is fast food expensive, it's also unhealthy. All the fat and calories do terrible things to your body. The grease in the food causes zits. This food causes people to become lethargic, whiny, and grumpy. It decreases your mental status. The fatty hamburgers raise your cholesterol, and the salty fries increase your blood pressure. Fast food clogs your arteries, and the calories lead to obesity. Eating out contributes greatly to heart disease, which is the number one cause of death in the United States. Now at Burger King, a Whopper with cheese, french fries, and a vanilla shake has 87 grams of fat and 1,480 calories. All this is consumed in about 10 minutes, according to Restaurant Confidential. Now, the dietary guidelines recommend about 65 grams of fat and 2,000 calories in a day. In one meal, you're getting 22 grams of fat more than you should have in an entire day. Restaurant Confidential also says that an order of cheese fries with ranch has 3,040 calories. That one order of fries has over a thousand calories more than you should be eating in an entire day. A thick burger at Hardee's has the calorie equivalent of five burgers from McDonald's. Now you might think these burgers are tasty, but if you leave a burger and fries out, they won't even mold. There is so much other stuff besides food in them that they will maintain their shape and color perfectly even years later, according to Don't Eat This Book, Fast Food and the Supersizing of America. Well, if fast food is so bad for you, what is being done to combat it? Are there healthier alternatives? Yes, there are. You can go to Subway and get one of their seven subs with six grams of fat or less, each having about 260 calories. A grilled chicken sandwich 
Wendy's has about 300 calories. This is over 700 calories less than a double Whopper with cheese combo from Burger King. Now ideally people would avoid fast food altogether and just prepare quick and easy meals at home. They could pack leftovers for lunch and grab quick on the go snacks like celery and carrots. Healthier foods at fast food restaurants are expensive though. Salads can cost over $5, making the options on the dollar menu a lot more appealing. What they can do is fast food restaurants can have the healthier options priced lower and they can charge more for unhealthier selections as an incentive for people to order healthier. People have a million different reasons to go to fast food restaurants. They're cheap or they taste good. College students don't even have a place to cook. There are a million different reasons to go out to eat, but there are many more reasons to stay away from unhealthy fast food restaurants. The few perks of these restaurants are not worth the cost. Eating fast food is not worth the health issues, such as obesity, heart disease, and high blood pressure. It only takes a few minutes to prepare a quick, easy meal at home or a snack on the go. And you can save time from having to wait in line to drive throughs the money you save from avoiding fast food restaurants adds up. Each year you can go on a nice vacation with the money you've saved. Some may think they cannot afford to avoid fast food restaurants, but with the health risk involved, I think Americans cannot keep affording to go to these fast food establishments.